Hey guys, this is Z with Female Hustle Inc. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. I know I've been away for a while and I've had a lot going on. Um, I have a special guest here with me today. I am actually doing a video because I am doing a um, fabric haul from Joann's and Hobby Lobby. And then I have some new items that I have introduced onto my Etsy shop. And I wanted to show you those, but first, welcome my special guest. <laughs> this is my daughter, Kelsey. Um, this is what we've been having going on. <laughs> the reason why I've been missing for all this time. She just turned 18 and she is graduating from high school. And with everything that's been going on with COVID and it's just been a lot. It's been a lot going on. It's been stressful and um, so I've been away dealing with that, making sure my daughter graduates yes. from high school. So Kelsey, how has it been? It's been good. It's been good? It's been stressful. Okay. But you're, you made it. You made I it. did. I made it. I'm graduating in a few days. In about four days. In about four days. Yes. So we are happy. Um, definitely a, a, a really, really big load has been lifted off of both of our shoulders and so um yeah I just wanted to bring her on and this has been my dilemma here <laughs> but anyway we're gonna get on or I'm gonna get on to my fabric call but I wanted to thank my special guest Kelsey for popping in and um just wish her a lot of blessings and success in her Good new luck. venture. And um, yeah, so we'll get on with our fabric haul. So as I said earlier, I have been shopping at Joann's and Hobby Lobby, buying up tons of fabric. I have some new designs that I'm gonna be um, listing on my Etsy shop. And I bought fabric. And I bought more fabric and I bought more fabric. So I am going to go through and show you what I have. And um, some of them may be um, fabric that you've seen before. Some may not. Um, but like I said, I got them from Joann's and Hobby Lobby. And uh, let's get on with it. Thanks again for popping in to take a look at my video. If you are not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, um, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and let's get on with it. Okay, so first I am gonna start with my um, fabrics that I got from Joann's. I'm, I'm undecided because I, <sighs> I bought so much stuff. I I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't buy a lot of everything, but I just bought a lot of different fabrics. So from Joann's, I purchased, um, the first one is this, um, they're like lemons. I'm not sure if you could see that. It's like a lemon pattern, pink with different colored lemons on it. And then, I'm sure everybody has seen this, but I purchased the NASCARs with the checker. I really like that. I have some good plans for this one. This one is the yellow um, bumblebee that I know everyone has already seen this before with the beautiful, very, very beautiful um, glittery wings on the bumblebee. And this fabric, I have already made some things with it and I am going to be making a skirt as well. So I definitely have plans for this. And this one is similar to one of the other um, watermelon patterns we have. So it's more of the red color with uh, darker black. So I really like that one as well. And this next one, I know for sure Everybody has seen it and is using it. Our trusty cow print that everybody loves. The cow print is definitely in this season along with the watermelons, but definitely cow print is in 
we are all doing everything farm and cow, which is great. Um, this is the rainbow butterflies. I'm not sure if any of you have seen this one, but um, I'm gonna be doing something nice with that as well. Then I have two of the stretchy um, materials. This one is um, like the pink leopard, which I am going to try to make some bummies and skirts with these. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I started to get back into sewing and um, so I've been making some things and um, we'll see how that turns out. We got a floral stretchy fabric. So that's gonna be cute as well. Um, I have another watermelon fabric that I did or that I purchased. And I know this is, this is probably an old one, but it's so stinking cute. Um, I know that a lot of people are making little dresses and um, skirts and rompers with this. It's just, it's so cute. I mean, it goes with everything and you gotta love it. So I am gonna be doing some cute things with this. This is, yes I am. Okay, and then I have another cow pattern and it's got the cute little cows. It's um, I really like it. It's really cute. It's different. So um, I have actually already made something with this and I'm going to be showing you later, but I really like this. And um, I know for a fact that I will be buying more of this because like I said, I love it. It's, it's super cute. And then this one, um, I haven't seen this one. I did purchase. This is like I said, from Joann's. These are all from Joann's. Um, I hadn't seen this one. I've seen a lot of different ones. This is for um, Alabama roll tie. And hopefully that, yeah, it's it's not upside down. But I hadn't seen this one. And so I am going to be, um, I haven't decided what I want to make with this fabric. Uh, I also purchased one just like it um, for Georgia. I am here in Georgia, if you didn't know that. So these are two of the, um, the uh, schools that are, out here um so i have like i said i haven't decided what i'm gonna do with these fabrics but um as soon as i do i will be happy to jump on show you what i made i'm gonna be putting everything up in my etsy store uh the most of these items will go in i have two etsy stores um one of them is female hustle inc i n k and that is adult items t-shirts um i'm gonna be adding in some other items i'm not i apologize guys if my camera is moving because i am on this table and i have it attached to the table and the table is moving a little bit so i apologize if there's any movement but like i said i um i have my my etsy stores female hustle inc is for adult items um t-shirts i'm going to be adding in um some other items possibly um decals just more, more adult items. And then um, most of the fabrics that you're seeing here are gonna be for my kid store, which is Black Box Embroidery. It's Black Box Boutique um, Kids Embroidery and Clothing. And so most of the items that I am gonna be making out of this fabric are gonna be going into that store. Um, I haven't decided on anything um, that I'm gonna be putting into my other store using these fabrics just yet. I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna do it, but I just haven't decided. Um, you know, I'm still making a lot of changes and trying to just trying to just grow my business basically. But anyway, these are two of the fabrics that um, Alabama and Georgia, like I said, they're close to me, I'm in Georgia. So I got those fabrics. This is just really plain. It's just a plain, uh, like a, a melon or, uh, um, coral color and it's just going to be an accent to some of the um, items that I'll, I'll be making and then I have this crazy banana fabric here um, I had not seen this before and I'm not sure if you guys have I know everyone's always out shopping fabrics and you know find, finding new things and so I'm not sure if you've seen this before but I thought it would be cute so I picked it up and I haven't decided what I'm going to be making out of this either. But um, the more I look at it, I started getting, you know, other ideas. So we'll see what I come up with. And 
uh, once I start to make more things, I will come on and show you guys what I made and um, do some tutorial or not tutorials, maybe tutorials on how I made the items. Um, another plain item as an accent to some of the other uh, fabrics that I purchased. Um, this one here is a cute, I thought this was a very, very cute floral pattern. And um, I'm gonna be making some items for my, my kids shop with that. And um, and it's, it's spring, summertime, so it, it, it's a fun fabric. Next is Mickey and Minnie. And I'm sure you've seen this as well. We all love Mickey and Minnie. And I bought it in blue. Um, this one is not exactly the same, but it's also Mickey and Minnie and it's in a gray. And um, it's gonna be for a kid's item. Like I said, I haven't decided on a lot of these fabrics that I'm gonna be using, uh, what I'm gonna make with them. But um, I do have plans to make either use them in applique shirts or actually make uh, sew things to put in the um, in my shop so there you have it and um, those are all the things that I did get from Joann's um, and um, I did make items with I believe only the fabrics that I got from Joann's so far so I will just show you those real quick before I go into the items that I purchased from Hobby Lobby because I did get a lot more from Hobby Lobby than I got from Joann's. Um, a little embarrassed to say, but I did. And when you get in the store, as you guys know, you go crazy. New fabrics um, or fabrics that you've just never seen before when you're in there. It's a mess. Um, you end up spending way too much money. But um, hopefully I'll be able to make something out of everything that I purchased. But um, usually when I get in there, I have to like really, you know, watch it because I just go crazy. I love fabric, I love purchasing fabric, and now I need to make something with all the fabric that I purchased, okay? So, the first um, thing that I made is, and these are all samples, so I haven't actually made the shirts for some of these items. So the first one is this, holy cow, I'm one. And I have this cute little skirt that I made to go along with it. The cute little cows on it. So, and that, this fabric, this is one of the fabrics that I purchased from Joann's. So, I got right to it, making my little skirt. And then the shirt, I used the pattern here in the design. And then my next item, this one is, um... It's old. This is a very old um, fabric. I've had this fabric for a while, but I did make a shirt and a scrunchie. I forgot to mention I did start making scrunchies as well. I think that's the thing now that everyone is doing as well, making the scrunchies. So I made a scrunchie to go along with the shirt. And then my next item is I have something on it but the next one like I said is a sample as well um it's the bumblebee with the yellow pattern the yellow um fabric I'm sorry the bumblebee pattern fabric I'm not sure if you guys remember that one with the glittery wings on it and I will be making a skirt like this to go with this so I did um show you guys that uh I can't talk. I did show you guys this. I'm going to grab it real quick and show you. It's this one here. So I'm going to be making a skirt out of this um, fabric, just like this skirt, to go along with this top. So um, I think that's cute. And then I made this one here. And I'm not sure if you can see how cute and glittery the umbrella is, it's the spring summertime umbrella with the cute little floral print and the matching scrunchie. I'm not sure if you could see that, but I have the matching scrunchie to go along with it with the cute little bow on it. So um, there you have it. And I will be making more um, soon. 
So, but that's what I have for now. And then um, let's get on with the rest of this fabric haul. Okay guys, so the video started to get a little long, so I broke it up into two parts. Uh, if you're interested to see the second half of my um, Joanne Hobby Lobby haul, check it out right here. If not, thank you so much for stopping in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. Until next time, be blessed.